In this video, you will learn solving equations part 2, multiplication and division. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. In the previous video, we learned that addition and subtraction are inverse operations, so they undo each other. In this video, we're going to know that multiplication and division are also inverse operations and they undo each other out as well. To understand this better, let's have a look at this example we have, which is x times any specific number. To undo this number, what we have to do is firstly to divide by that exact same number. We need to divide because to undo multiplication, we have to do division because multiplication and division are inverse operations. And we need to do this division on both sides because otherwise the equation won't be equal or balanced. So we need to divide them on both sides so that equation is balanced. So let's have a look at division now. X divided by any number. So to undo this, we have to multiply it by that exact same number because division and multiplication, as we said before, are inverse operations. And we need to multiply them on both sides. So let's have a look at an example. An example we have right here is 8x equals 56. And as you guys could see in this example, you guys could see that we have no arithmetic symbol. And if you guys are wondering why we have no arithmetic sign, we said that in one of the previous videos, if there is no arithmetic sign between a number and a symbol, it means it is being multiplied. So therefore, this means it's actually 8 times x. 8x is basically 8 times x. So because we now know that, we know that the 8 is being multiplied to the 6. We need to make sure that this x is on its own, so we have to undo that times 8. We can undo the times 8 by doing divided by 8. And as you guys could see, we're writing divided by 8 in a fraction form. And if you guys are wondering why in a fraction form, because in an algebra, most of the time you write division in fraction form, and that's why. So we know that we have to do the same thing to both sides. Because we're dividing one side by 8, we also have to divide the other side by 8. And if you notice, we have two 8s. We have 8 on the top and an 8 on the bottom. So we know that we can cancel both of these 8s out, which means we're left with just x. And we can work the other side of the equation out because 56 divided by 8 is none other than 7. So this means our answer is x equals 7. So let's have a look at this example, which is 9x equals 108. So in this example, the 9 is being multiplied to the x. To get rid of this 9, or to undo this 9 times, what we have to do is that we have to divide by 9. And as you guys could see, it's in a fraction form. So we have to do the same thing to both sides. We also have to divide the 108 also by 9. So we have a 9 at the top and a 9 at the bottom. We have to cancel both of these out, which means we're left with just x. The other side of the equation is pretty easy to solve because 108 divided by 9 is just 12. So that means our answer is x equals 12. Now, let's have a look at the next example which is x over 9 equals to 5. And in this example, we have a divided question because in this example, we have x over 9, which is obviously mean it's being divided by 9. So x divided by 9. So we can undo this divided by 9 by multiplying by 9 because 9 times x over 9 will obviously undo it. But remember, we need to do the same thing to both sides. Because we are multiplying one side by 9, we have to multiply the other side also by 9. So now the equation is balanced. So now we can start by working this question out. We know that the 9 at the top, so the 9, we're timesing it, and the 9, we're dividing it by 9 at the top, and the 9 at the bottom, we can simplify them, or we can cancel each other out. So we can cancel both of these 9s out, which means we're left with just x. The other side of the equation, it's just 5 times 9, and 5 times 9 
is 45. That means our answer is x equals 45. So now let's have a look at this example, which is 24 over x equals 6. In this example, as you guys could see, it's the 24 is actually being divided by the x. It's not the x that's being divided by the 24 anymore. It's the other way around. So in this example, just like in the previous video, you guys may think that we can use the commutative property. But the commutative property does not work with division because 24 over x and x over 24 are not the same. So therefore, we can't use the commutative property and we have to do something else. So 24 over x equals 6. So rather than trying to get rid of this 24, what if we try to undo the x? So we're dividing this by x. So what if we times this by x? And remember, because we're timesing one side by x, we also have to times the other side by x because we have to do the same thing to both sides. So the x at the top and the x at the bottom, they will cancel each other out, which means we're left with 24. And then obviously, 6 times x will give you 6x. So now, this question looks like the previous examples, and it's much more easier to do. 24 equals 6x. And we know how to solve this question out. So 6x, we know that the 6 is being multiplied to the x. To get rid of the 6, we have to undo it. In other words, we can divide this by 6. Because we're dividing one side by 6, we also have to divide the other side by 6. So one side is being divided by 6, which means 24 will also be divided by 6. So 6x over 6 will be just x. And then obviously 24 over 6 will be 4, which means we have 4 equals x. But 4 equals x can also be written as x equals 4. So this means our answer is x equals 4. Now to learn more on 11 plus maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.